guys, welcome back to my workspace. This is Kevin with Them Maju, The Spirit of Twilight. And today I wanted to go over another book that I read a little while ago. It was actually recommended to everyone who follows Hearthwitch on YouTube. And she is actually my one of my number one go-tos um, as far as YouTube videos are concerned and authentic content. Um, so she did recommend The Door to Wishcraft, which is by Tanya A. Brown. You'll know her from Witchway Magazine. Uh, she is fantastic. And speaking of fantastic, this book is really, really good. Um, as a matter of fact, I wanted to go over some things with the book because it says it's listed for a new witch as a guide, but um, I found it to be very informative even though I've been practicing for quite some time. So, I'll just go over a few things. I have some notes on my, my Mac here, <laughs> on my screen. Uh, pretty much, it, it covers the Book of Shadows, Casting a Circle, Chime Candles and Crossroads, uh, the Fae, Florida Water. Uh, there's things about grounding and herbals, uh, things in the book about voodoo. Uh, reading the elements, how you would actually read the flame of a candle or um, water or wax of a candle. Um, it, she also goes into the Sabbaths, um, also creating sigils, which is one of my favorite things to do. I love sigils. Um, also, she goes into the Wheel of the Year. And also explains what the void moon is. I didn't know what this was at first because I haven't studied astrology all that much. I have a huge book on astrology, but I haven't really prepared myself to share that with anyone as of yet. So anyway, um, the void moon is when the moon, moon, well, moon moves from one house to the other. And I had no idea what that was. I just thought, of, to me, I thought it was a new moon. I don't know. Anyway, um, but she also goes into other information that's really good for everyone, such as traditions. Um, she does a lot of speaking about Wicca in her book itself, but she doesn't stick with just Wicca. As I mentioned before, she goes into voodoo concepts, so on and so forth. So it's pretty eclectic. Um, at the same time, she does mention a lot of Wicca authors that she's read in the past. Um, also, she goes around the history of the witch trials from around the globe, which is very important to know. Um, and also, in this modern day and age, even though practitioners are, are safe in practicing their craft, it's unfortunate that some of them are still put down for what they do, which I don't understand in this day and age. Same thing with, with racism. I don't understand that either. I, I wasn't brought up that way. So, anyway. Um, she all goes over practical magic, which is magic for everyone that you can apply every day to your life. Um, that was really helpful for me. Because if you're looking for something that you need to start off with for your day, like a daily routine, that's something that helps tremendously because I... I had no idea how to even start one of those, but she helped with that too. Um, the last thing that she covers is modern day spells, which I have not read a lot of spells. Um, I've re read a lot of techniques that people use, such as meditation, grounding, um, bringing your energy together, and how to channel the energy. But as far as spells are concerned, uh, these were quite valuable. There's, uh, there is money spells in here, there's love spells in here, there's hexing. However, hexing you want to do at your own risk. <laughs> and um, yeah, at your own risk. So, I mean, this book is really good. There's, there's information about physical healing and also promoting... Health in a thick household, which would be good right now during COVID. That would help you tremendously. Help everyone, actually. Um, there is an oil in here, which I haven't tried to make yet, called Moo Glow Oil. It was 
It's a concoction that was created to provide you with a healthy glow of post-shower and nourished skin. It uses the energy of the moon to do so. The almond oil helps you carry the energy around during the day. It's a relaxing form of glamour magic. The spell comes from Emma Miller and was originally published in the July 2018 issue of Which Way Magazine. I really like that she brings forward her references within the text of the book. Um, she also has references in the back, of course, but it gives you information when to perform the spell, the time to allot for the spell, where to perform your spell, and the ingredients and tools that you, knew, you need, along with the directions. So this is actually very cool as far as this book is concerned. It does teach a beginning practitioner more information about what they need to know and what to do but in case if you've never heard one of these, like, for example, Success in Business Oil, um, it tells you what day to do it during what moon phase, if, if you're into the moon. Um, money drawing oil, just, I mean, there's, there's so much in here about family and friends and how to gather people together for a wish ball for your family and friends. Um, it's, it's just a great book. It really is. So, I bought mine on Amazon, but um, it probably is available at Barnes & Nobles, which is another place I normally go to as well, um, to get a lot of things, even my tarot cards. Um, one thing that I think that is phenomenal about this book, it doesn't just teach you about the candle colors and things like that, but it also teaches you the Theban alphabet. So, if you're interested in learning the Theban alphabet, you can also pick that up from this book as well. It's really well-rounded, it really is. It gives you the definition, the meaning of color that you want to use for your color magic. Um, it gives you other information, um, such as the tension drawing oil, if you want to do that sort of thing, which is really cool. I really like this book a lot. It's going to be used as a huge reference, but it also tells you that you really need to sit down and understand the history of witchcraft, which we have a diagram here in the book itself that tells you all about it. But it goes into pretty good detail as far as what you need to learn before you start casting spells or working in spell work. So, but it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. Again, it's Door to Witchcraft by Tanya Brown. Um, I highly, highly recommend it for beginners and also intermediate uh, practitioners. But that was all I had for you for today. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Um, also, if you'd like to see more of my content, which I do crafts and some small spells, on my videos, you're more than welcome to click on subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye.